Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys to Spoon because my S2000 in this video is getting an AP2 transmission put into it. We're gonna take a bit of a tour again at Type 1. We're gonna check out an NSX Type R that is sitting there. And we're actually gonna check out the storage area, which is like above the workshop area. And it's just really cool to see the EK and the EG up there. We also had a chance to check out a Spoon's FK7, not the Type R, but it basically has pretty much the same performance as a Type R. I'm actually gonna put out the next video uh, in the next couple days. And my plan actually is to release a video every other day. Hold me to it, I'm gonna do my best because I really wanna finish off this year strong. But yeah, it's a good segue to tell you guys that actually in 2021, my big goal is to basically go full-time on YouTube. Yeah, I guess that's another good segue to, you know, just pitch my merch. So check out, you know, we have the really nice sweaters with the, this really nice embroidery. And also, where's my, where's the, where's the hat? Lost my hat. Oh, I'm freaking wearing it right here. Yeah, yeah, we also have like the Hunter's dad hats. So please check out the store. I'm really excited to go full time uh, with YouTube next year because you know, I think it's time. The channel is at almost a quarter million subscribers and I think I'm doing you guys a disservice by not going all in on this. So I'm really gonna do my best. Enjoy the video and I'll see you guys uh, when you get back. Hey, I'm Albo and I love JDM cars and culture. In each episode in this multi-channel crossover series, I'll go on car adventures around Japan with Captain Bradford from JDM Masters, along with our car club and fellow YouTubers Japonic, Samet, Dustin Williams, and others. Join us as we do car stuff, explore Japanese culture, and show you what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. This is our JDM life, and we are the Super JDM Bros. Alright, so we are here at Spoon today. Jason's running away. Over here. And he's got this uh this intruder over here. This uh it's a GTR. What is it doing here? I don't know, somehow I managed to sneak in. So so today actually I'm here to actually drop off the car. Actually, this is the the Daisha or rental car that they're gonna be providing. And this is the FK7, uh, which I suppose would be like the Civic SI, but it's not the Type R. I mean, it still looks pretty cool. It's got all these spoon parts on it. It's honestly looking pretty dope, but I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get the s 660 but oh well. And the spoon calipers. You see the interior? Ooh, it is in fact a six speed. Whoa. Okay, this is gonna be interesting to drive. Ooh, very light clutch. All right, so we're gonna leave the S2000 here for a couple days. I'm gonna throw some of my stuff in the trunk, so let me just pop. Yeah, the trunk's pretty small, the S2000, but fortunately I don't have too much here. Whoa! Fit a whole body in there. Maybe I should bring this. <sighs> After Cappy gets back from wherever he is, We'll take a first spin. Let's see how this car performs. I mean, it's not the Type R, but it still looks fun. It has pretty much all the spoon parts. Apparently, their whole catalog of parts is, is on this car. We got played out at the last minute about the S660. Is that, is that what happened? Is that somebody actually swiped the S660 from under us? Yeah, but it's okay. We can always arrange again to take it out on a longer basis. Or yeah, something yeah, like next that. time, next time. Oh, it's be not able so to... bad. You got a new, hey, new yeah. comfortable Civic. Even, even more you, new, right? You, you might even like that because it's such a I used might, car. I might, I might, I might, I might want to trade in the Forester. And you know what? I was just told that thing has 275 horsepower. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! So, can you imagine 1.5 liters? The original horsepower is at 185, which is the same as my EK9. <laughs> It's 275 horsepower now. Now you think about it, the FK8 2 liter is 320 horsepower. It's almost the same. That's it's almost insane. the same. It's because it's ECU tune, right? The turbine's Ooh. been changed as well. Oh. Mm. Six port calipers, the full spoon catalog in there. Let's go have a look upstairs. And um, behind the camera today, we got Jason, one of our really good VBRT friends. And what's interesting is that it's his first time to spoon. And, and he, he brought the GTR. He brought the GTR. Yep. But he had a S2000 before, so I think he's going to be really interested to Whoa. see this. So let's swap. I want to see Jason's reaction. Hey, I'm Jason. I love Hondas. I used to have Hondas like a EG, EKs, and an S2000. Um, so this is my first you, time here. So that makes you guys S2K bros. S2K bros. Yeah. Forever. NSX. That. So that one's a customer car, right? 
Yeah. And it's 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 always there. That's your dream car, Captain. This is an unbelievably beautiful car. This is end game. You know, this is when you've been in the YouTube game for a million subscribers in, and you just want something to flex on all the people who have Lamborghinis. This is what you get. This is a beyond R34 GTR. I mean, we can ask Jason right here. So, Jason, you have you have a GTR. How does how does this make you feel? Are you like, yeah, it's okay. It's the same caliber, or are you like, man, this is crazy? Having a GTR is like having that fanboy fantasy Nissan car you always wanted. Well, this would be the old school fanboy Honda car that you always wanted. I mean, this looks exorbitantly expensive. I would guess this is probably 20 million? More. More. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, it's such a stunningly beautiful design, but it's surprisingly simple in shape. And it does look a little bit um, dated. It definitely looks like it's from the 90s. It's such a beautiful car. For me, this is one of those ultimate dream cars. But I definitely go back and forth between, you know, NSX and GTR. If you could do it all over again, would you get a GTR again? Or do you think you would pick up something else? Um, I think I would keep the GTR and then pick up another car. But I think after you have one car, one car is never enough. And then you have a different problem, Dream. which is you can only drive one at a time. Yeah. And then the bigger problem in Japan is you can only park so many cars. I mean, space is so limited. Yeah. You end up paying so much, just have it be a big paperweight. Yeah. And it has that, that old Honda smell. What is an old Honda smell? Kind of smells like old man sweat that has been uh, that has been soaked into the fabric for many many years no i mean it has it has a smell like kind of honda does. cars do have a smell it kind of does smell like an old man right it probably is probably a sweaty guy who's working in there it's hot summer sun do you know what a new car smell is actually yeah it's the the plastics like oxidizing and yeah. uh, releasing okay. actually toxic fumes exactly which actually Explode your brain cells. Okay, so we're gonna go upstairs, which is a, it's a place we didn't show you in the previous walkthrough video, actually. Whoa, tight fit. And. Cool. Can you open it? Oh, yes, you can. Dude, this is sick. Look at that, fully stripped. I wonder what this thing feels like to drive. And the EK over here. What a tight squeeze back here, huh? Oh yeah, it's like an attic full of goodies. Yeah. Okay, you got to really squeeze in here. Wow. Oh, you can open this too. All right. Just gonna take a quick peek. What it looks like inside? Okay. This is a nice view that you don't get to see very often. So enjoy it. What do you think about the the blue spoon banner? This EG. It's beautiful. Oh, or you know, like the banner on top, the blue one? Would you rock it? I think it's pretty cool. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. rock it. So I always wondered like, which part, like what color is the actual car? Is it yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. Which means, is it a wrap? Like this, this part. Let's see. The yellow is the wrap. Ah, the yellow is the wrap, I see. Is the yellow the wrap everywhere? This. So this one, Whoa, okay, On okay. The EK, the base color is yellow. Yeah, yeah, this base color is yellow in this one too. But some places, it's like, it's blue here, but yellow here. Right? This is blue. So it's blue, this yeah. part's blue, but then this part is actually yellow. Yeah. Watch that. It was easier to paint this blue, that's why. Interesting. Oh, okay. I wonder if we just stay here, if they just will, they'll forget about us. Yeah. And we can just kind of hide here. Sleeping bag in the corner. Stay here all night. Yeah. Both of these cars are like you and one spec. Legendary G6, which was the original one that raced in the N1. And that's the PK9. Uh, 
This is actually a modified one. Mm -hmm. Modified from the original, so different colors. So you can see here the roll cage um, is a proper um, Jaff type you spec because it goes through the, the dashboard and like there are these minimum points that you have to secure and it's obviously so this one's actually welded to the body whereas the one make race it's like bolted on it's interesting that you have here that this is a more modern depi gauge instead of the original ones and um, of course being a type of race car it only needs one seat and then one seat and you can see here how the roll cages are different from the ones that you can get commercially put here. This, this additional racing kit down mm -hmm. there as well. So this is a German race car, it's not some, you know, Kanjo Zoku Street Racer converted <laughs> wannabe. <laughs> you know, this is the real deal. This is what those guys are trying to emulate. <clears throat> The staff is so friendly here. They saw me taking pictures and there was, you know, they had all their equipment and carts in the way. And um, he asked me if I wanted to, if he needed to move the stuff. And I was like, oh, it's okay. And he still moved out of the way so I could take pictures. It's like, you really go above and beyond and yeah, really accommodate really the visitors here. And then, and they're bringing down my transmission just because they asked to see it. And there it is. Ooh. Exciting. There it is, there's my transmission, AP2 transmission. Very excited to have this installed. Hope it'll work good. Hopefully it's in good condition. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, so this is my AP2 transmission. It looks like it's in decent shape. It has a little bit of surface rust in there. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll, actually it'll be done in, in basically a couple days. And uh, so I'll have the FK7 for a couple days, but uh, I'll leave this to them and it'll also do the new clutch, so hopefully the car feels much better once uh, we get this place. So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed the video and once again thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting the channel, picking up the merch, uh, it's your support uh, with the merch store and with Patreon. It's really, really going to make this possible, I think. And I'm going to do my best in the next year to bring you guys all this crazy content like the Racing Hearts movie and the Midnight Club documentary and the Kanjasoka documentary. It's, it's all like I'm still working on it. So yeah, it'll be great. So check out the next video in the playlist and I'll catch you guys uh, in the next video. Peace.